Hi, I'm Bruce Berry with Pro Sport Fisher, and uh, we're down here at the Catisfy today, and we're doing some utility flies for boxes. This is going to be a variation of Silly's tandem tube. We're going to tie a whole bunch of them, and we're going to try to do it really fast. Here we go. So I started with a 40/40, and I cut off most of the junction. We're going to go back to this later, and here we go. So I need a rabbit strip, some flash, and some slopping. This is a blue-black version. It's great in pink-purple. It's good in orange-black. It's good in purple. So what I'm going to do is put a rabbit strip on here, lash the rabbit strip down. For those of you, there's a lot of guys that understand the Sylvie's tandem tube, how to work it, how to rig it. We're going to go through all that stuff. I'm going to cut the rabbit. Boom. These are pretty quick flies, so you can get them done fast, and it doesn't hurt to give a buddy one or watch people lose them on the rocks. This is a lateral scale type flash in blue. I just want two pieces, not three. Okay, two pieces of flash down one side, fold it over, bring them back. I like the flash, just a little bit longer than the rabbit. <clears throat> Blue slopping first. Leave a little fluff. This is also something you know, I occasionally hear that pro tubes are fairly expensive, so I'm going to show you how to maximize pro tubes. We're going to tie at least three flies on this tube, which will yield about 42 per pack. Shop owners hate it. Okay. Rabbit flash slopping this fly could probably fish as is I'm going to add a little bit of black slopping to the front just a couple turns if the feather had fluff I'd use the fluff but it didn't have much fluff so I got don't have it for this one that's okay There we go. You guys know I like that Zappa Gap and no whip finish, but we have to wait for that to dry. So this is going to be a standard whip finish because it's a little faster. Get around there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Go forward a little bit. Leave yourself enough room to put a cone on and burnish it later.
Okay, so we've essentially got at this point three flies tied in one. So what we're going to do now is show you how to finish these. <clears throat> we're going to pull that off the needle, open this up, Generally, I like razor blade cuts better than scissor cuts, but you don't want to go through the fly that you just tied. So, we'll go to the back end of number two, carefully clip that. We'll go to the back end of number three for our next clip. Don't get any material in there, just like that. Give that a clip. Okay. This is what we end up with. So from here, <clears throat> I'm just going to finish one of these, but you get the idea. I'd put all three cones on now, and we will go with silver large. Install the cone, cut it short. Stay right there heat burners to hold the cone. Okay, do you guys have noticed, or guys have seen me tie before, I have this little thread bump. It's down, back, back, a whip finish and zap a gap. There's a reason for that. So to finish these flies, I turn it around, I'm gonna bring that camera back down low. And what we're gonna do, this is the junction that I cut off the tube originally on a 4040. So we're just gonna take little bits of this. One. Two, three. Okay, now this thread bump with zappa gap, the needle doesn't hold the large diameter uh, classic tubing or the junction on the 4040. So that is going to hold the junction on. We just start our thread. This is the locator tube on the back of the rabbit strip. I just find it easier to tie these things when you turn them around backwards. So Get the flash out of the way, maybe a quarter inch or so into the rabbit strip. Pair that apart, lay it right on top. If you trap a little rabbit, have a bodkin handy. Pull that back out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you tied three flies on the tube side, cut them apart, put the cones on them, turn them around, put the locator tube on them, and we'll show you how to rig these real quickly. There's a kind of a Silvis tandem tube. I didn't do the schloppen, or the uh, uh, marabou, excuse me, I like the schloppen style. So how to rig these guys. If you just went straight line and put a hook on it under tension with a sink tip, this would just slide down your tippet and bunch up. So what we do and this may be hard to see here, Chris, but we just tied a non-slip loop. Does that come in there okay? Rapala knot, lefties knot, non-slip loop, whatever you want to call it. So here's what we would do. The small diameter tube of the tying surface is in the front. The large diameter is in the back. So the knot's going to slip through the large diameter. <clears throat> the key is kind of getting that loop the right size. Yep, I usually measure it off on a rod. I mean, whether it says Sage or Beulah, there's always, you know, you put it on your rod and it says Beulah, so it'll go from B past the H and into where it starts to say 13.2 or Sage, whatever the scribble is on your rod. So from the back of the tube here, is this good? Mm -hmm. From the back of the tube to this tube, you're gonna define a distance and then tie the loop that way. So if you've measured on your rod, you can do it in the river, in the winter, in the cold, it's not hard to do. So I've got my loop just behind the locator tube. I'm gonna punch that up. Gummy octopus are as good as it gets for these. You want an up eye hook on these, otherwise you have to feed the straight eye hooks onto the line. So we'll open this up and show you. So whether you're going with maxima 10 pound, 12 pound, 15 pound, and if you're fishing these for trout and olive, go to smaller size. Steelhead, a one, two, four, I don't know, maybe a six. 
go through the eye, flip it around, <clears throat> and your locate your knot right here is going to just bump against the back of the small diameter. This knot right here is going to bump against the small diameter tube, and under tension, that's going to stretch out the hooks right where it needs to be. And the hook actually does a cool thing; it actually adds some weight back there. So along with the rabbit strip, it just creates good waggle and boogie. So there you go: three flies, one tube. 14 tubes in a pack, 42 flies. Pretty easy stuff and you can go really fast. Thanks for stopping by and taking a look.